In 1929, the 35-foot lighthouse off the waters of Lake Erie, near the shore of Vermilion, Ohio, disappeared. Records show that it had been sent to Buffalo, perhaps to be sold for scrap. A skeleton tower replaced it. Vermilion residents searched without success to locate the old Vermilion Lighthouse. In September 1994, Olin M. Stevens of Columbus, Ohio, discovered an old newspaper article that told of his grandfather's first Lake Ontario assignment as keeper of Tibbetts Point Light in 1937. Although this is my first duty on Lake Ontario, Charity Shoal Light, visible from Tibbetts Point, is an old friend. The tower upholding the gas lamp on Charity formerly was under my charge at Vermilion, near Lorraine. Victim of an ice shove, it was salvaged and taken to Buffalo, where it was assigned to Charity. The missing lighthouse had been found. It now marks East Charity Shoal, a shipping hazard about 3,000 feet long and at some points covered by just 10 feet of water. The light still operates as a reference point for ships navigating the St. Lawrence Seaway Channel and is located seven miles off Cape Vincent. Now available on DVD or Blu-ray, the WPBS-TV production of New York Seaway Lighthouses. Featuring the fascinating histories of over 20 different lighthouses along the shores of New York Seaway Trail. Order your copy today. New York Seaway Lighthouses is sponsored by the Department of the Interior, National Park Service, and by Taste New York at the North Country Welcome Center overlooking the Thousand Islands Bridge.